and I said to myself, see that I messaged the person privately and they decided to carry the conversation publicly. I'm going to have the conversation publicly as well. I respect all my elders who are in front of me fighting for a better Jamaica. And I respect them. Some of them, I never knew them until I started talking because I'm not somebody who follows up social media. I could have been on social media a long time, but I really don't know social media that well. So I'm going to say to those who have been social media advocates for years and do their thing in terms of YouTube channels, bless up to you. And I want to say that I'm first a purist. Meaning that if I say I now do something, I now go do it. If I say I go and do something, I go and do it. And I don't make compromise. I don't make compromise because I walk circumspect. If I do something, I must speak about it publicly, make my sins known or unknown, and talk forward still. Why I said that today is that when Lonesome became a father to me, an advisor to me, and he told me that he was going to do an interview with the leader of the opposition. And I said, good way in lonesome. Good. And I never knew about Wayne Lonesome until one day when I did the first video in January. I saw he called me. So genuinely people, I never knew who he was. But after doing the research, I was told that he's a very good man. Go and sit and talk to him because he's an elder. So I started to have conversations with him and some things were revealed this afternoon. I believe he's still on his life. He's on his lives now, talking and fixing my business. Because I said yesterday I'm not going back on his life. And let me tell you why I'm not going back on his life, Jamaica. And tell me if me unfair. If you fight one man, a same corrupt, and the next man now do something right, and when the man come by your interview panel, it seems as though it was a pre-stage or a pre-planned interview. None of the questions that we agreed to were asked. And we are talking about a new Jamaica. Jamaica, I'm going to ask you this question. Mark Golding has been in Parliament from 2017. That makes him five years he's been a parliamentarian. He's the leader of the opposition now. Why should we be having a conversation five years after to say who is Mark Golding? Wow. I took a month from January 6th or 7th to now. To now. And I became popular than Mark Golding. Nobody knows who really the leader of the opposition is. Some will say Portia. But those who don't really know the politics will say it's Dr. Peter Phillips. And those who really know the politics, they will say we have a sleeping leader of the opposition. So, it's not a matter of being a yes man or a no man. It's a matter of what is truth, right, and ethical. So if Wayne Lonesome calls the commissioner of police, Gugu Gaga, he agrees that... Andrew Holness is Pharaoh. I told him that Mark Golding is a sleeping. He has been like a Lazarus. He has been very sleeping in the parliament. He's asking no questions. It's when me asks for the commissioner of police to resign, Mark Golding, come out with his unkept, very much unruly general secretary and said, boy, the, the general secretary said there's a black JLP carrying colorism in the parliament and the politics. And Mark Golding come and give the commissioner of police 60 days to resign. I expected that when Lonesome, being the advocate he is, that I know him to have been, would have asked Mark Golding several hot topic questions about the today's politics. Not politics 2017. We don't need to know that Mark Golding is a businessman. We all already that is already established. And in 2022, if we have to be knowing that about Mark Golding, something is a fundamentally wrong with the marketing of the People's National Party. I want them to share the live because I'm going to teach some of them something who say they are bloggers 
and vloggers. I come in into the territory. I come into the territory. And it took me a month. I've not had a social media page in terms of a YouTube channel. And I want the bloggers to know I strategically did not form a YouTube channel because I want people to follow more of Wayne Lonesome, more of Talking Mind, more of Motor Massey. Because I am not selfish. I am not burning any bridges. And that's why I said, I respect Mr. Wayne Lonesome. I respect Mr. Wayne Lonesome and I respect it. You say, big up to the elders that have been fighting for a better Jamaica even before I started to talk. But Wayne Lonesome and I talk almost every day and I said to him at 3.44 yesterday, I was very disappointed, very disappointed in your, in your interview with Mark Golding and I told him it's the weakest interview I've seen he has done and he make it seem he came off very compromised I told him that real stolies, stoles. I told him that rather than we known some accept and call me he went on a platform to have a conversation about who is what Andre Stevens is doing and what Andre Stevens is not doing when lonesome, I respect that they are detractors. We respect that they are detractors. But when somebody is going to do what they did to my eye, and you're going to say that is domestic affair, I shouldn't make it known. When lonesome, it's more than domestic affair. It's just a spiritual attack. Because the woman came after me with her Chinese demons. She's a witch. And I shared something in confidence with you, Wayne. And you go said to me, say, may I use vice note palm people? You compromise me, that's a Wayne. So what I'm saying to you, if me if compromise, me have to talk about it. Because... I soon call it, but I depend my life. Mm. So if it is that I am compromised, Wayne, remember some my eye nearly damaged. So all you got to say enough to talk about that, Wayne. I said you something very powerful where you can't say, all right, Andre, you know I said you certain things when I send to certain people. You should have asked the necessary questions that the Jamaicans want to hear. Jamaicans want no win. Why Mark Golding not talk about a new and different crime plan? Jamaica want to hear why Mark Golding so silent on corruption in the parliament. When it come out to the police, then you call them Gugu Gaga. You say the commissioner Gugu Gaga. When you done, you say Andrew Fierro. And Cleopatra. So why you never ask Mark Golding why he is Lazarus? And I'm going to ask the questions that you never asked on Monday way. Mr. Golding. Mr. Golding. Because some of you, you know, when lonesome, I'm going to ask, I take it off because me in a serious warfare mode. So I can have it on and take it off, put it on, take it off. My head kinda under some serious heat. Let me cool down and calm down for true. Mark Golding in the garden hiding. Golding in the garden hiding. Hiding. Hiding, we say. Golding in the garden hiding. Hiding from Andre. Yes, Mr. Win, Mr. Lonesome and Mr. Goldie. Mr. Lonesome. The questions that were asked on your program, did Mr. Golding ask for pre-planned questions? Was that the term and conditions on which he came to on the interview? When Lonesome. I know they have a way of paying media houses. 
for staged interviews. I know you're not somebody who can be compromised with money. Were you offered compensation for that interview? Wayne Lawson, you are known to be a, a firecracker blogger that asks the most powerful, potent, strong, loaded questions. How is it then, If what if, is it a case that Mark Golding said the only way he would have come on this program is if you ask who Mark Golding... So, or is it a case that the questions are coming in a three-phase interview? Who is Mark Golding? What are the plans of Mark Golding? And what we're not seeing of Mark Golding? Because I know you love to have follow-up interviews. Lazarus sleeping. Lazarus sleeping. So, Mr. Lonesome... The question about corruption, what would the opposition have done differently? What about if there was a compromise and we need to form a coalition government? You this were totally distracted and you deflected from the truth, Wayne Lonesome, and your constituents, which includes people like Andre Stevens. And many other Jamaicans who are feeling the brunt of a, laz a sleeping opposition is asking you today, Wayne Lonesome, are you comfortable with the level of interview that you did? That's my GoFundMe, guys. If you want to help me to feed the homeless people, I just tag it. I can't help Mr. Golding to come for it because here's why I'm going to say this to you. I messaged Mark Golding several times. And the only time Mark Golding answered to the message, Jamaica, is when the accusation was laid that he, they paid Mama San the monies to the intermediate Dr. Peter Phillips. We know some. We hear about leaked voice note and whatsapp messages from the rise united political party we hear that they made compromise by sabotaging peter phillips so they could take over the opposition and none of these questions were asked none of these questions were asked mr lonesome we know mr lonesome we have evidence to prove that they personally sabotage Dr. Peter Phillips. People like Dayton Campbell, questions like, how is it that we ask public servants to step aside and side opposition? Side opposition. Lisa Hannah is not going to do any interview now. She's just looking on because Mark Golding just have a few months to come out of the seat. Two parties for true, and at the same song, them a play corruption, nepotism, lies. I don't need a leader of the opposition job because I'm doing more than the leader of the opposition and I'm not being paid for it. Because the conversation is for somebody else to take lead, and it's not going to come from the parliament. The 63 of them who sits in the parliament and the 21 of them who sits in the Senate have all been compromised. Wayne Lonesome knew of the questions because he got the questions to ask. Why he never asked the question, Wayne Lonesome, if there's any truth that Mark Golding is holding because if there isn't truth that Mark Golding is really not interested in the leadership of the PNP, he's just holding the PNP until Peter Bunting finds a seat. Why you never ask, Mr. Mr. Lonesome, how is it that Mark Golding is such a rich man and so many comrades are hungry? He started the OT Fear Club Fund, but so many comrades have been hungry. 
The People's National Party is a movement, not a political party. Why is it then, Mr. Lonesome, that these questions weren't asked? Why is it that these questions weren't asked? Yes, I am a sick person. Because I am different from all of you. I am sick for God. I'm sold out for Christ. No matter what them say, I made up my mind. I am a fool for Christ, Auntie Marjorie. I am a fool for Christ. John the Baptist was said to be a madman. But I in the prophesy, said the king, I come. He that keepeth his mouth, keepeth his life. That is why the country is in the situation it is in. Winifred Barrows. We have kept our mouths too long. That is why our children are so foolish and dumb. We pity them can't read. They can't teach them about see and blind, ear and deaf. We don't teach them about when if you shut in the eye, we don't see the crime. Well, I was taught by people like Ohini Blake and Maxine, Henry Wilson, and Elaine Foster Allen. Speak your truth and speak it ever. Cast it what it will. They always come here when you talk the truth because the truth hurts. So we ain't known some. Like how I can tell you many truths. There is so much that Mark Golding could use to take down the JLP. Look there. Aureus, Oral Tracy come out and say, him, not dig politics, but it come in personal yard. Football. He has made it abundantly clear that the present government is playing politics with football. And what he's saying is, him no vote, but he may ask every football fan where vote to go get them ID. A powerful statement that, you know. Has Mark Rowling got seek a courtesy call with Oral Tracy and his spokesperson on sports to see how the opposition can find credible ways that should they form government. They have people like Oral Tracy as the director on the council on sports and football. If I were the leader of the opposition, that is what I would have done. Has Mark Rowling sat with the entertainment sector like Futa Hype and all of them and asked the questions? Is how are you going to open the dance hall sector? Why Mark Bowling not say he's going to put on a concert called Mark Bowling and Friends like Shaggy and Friends? And make all of the artists them run, come to him, rescue and do some dub plate and get rid of wicked Pharaoh. Me just ask the question them. Why Mark Golding not go down a town where the people them, him, him, him say my businessman, him have rice business. And distribution business. Set up a councillor distributors, Richard Panduay and all of them. For discuss how they can deal with the shipping cost that is affecting the rising food cost. Those are the questions that you should have been asking Wayne Lonesome. So it's more a question if, is there any truth that Mark Rowling is being paid by the government to be silent? Those are the questions. What has been the compensation for artisans and the fashion industry? There has been no fashion show for the past three years in the country. The, the, the artisan and the creative industry is affected. Have you sat with the JBDC to find workable solutions, Mr. Golding? Chicken has gone up, Mr. Golding. Chicken has gone up. It is now $370, $360, per pound. Almost $400 for a pound of chicken. What is the opposition's resolution? So it
it would have seen that side opposition and side government are one. And they're like this. So whosoever win benefit from the scarce resources and the constituents called the people are hungry and fed up. Yes, people are fed up. And Mark Golding is sleeping. Dayton Campbell is alleged to be a pedophile. And he's right beside Mark Golding. How can you have a medical doctor alleged and nothing comes out of it?